In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use um, GarageBand to record a performance, a piece of music. Now, in this example, I'm using my Year 7H music class, um, and I've asked the class to record the song Marching Ants um, using the smart guitar on GarageBand. And what we need to do is we need to be able to get the sheet music so you can follow the sheet music. You need to be able to get the backing track so you can hear the backing track. And then we're going to use the smart guitar on um, GarageBand to be able to play it. So the first thing I wanna do is tap on Marching Ants at the top because that's the assignment. And um, I'm going to the instructions here. And what I need to do is I need to um, download Marching Ants MP3. So that's the backing track example. So I'm going to tap on it. Uh, and if I press play, I think it'll play in the background. You should be able to hear the clicks in the background. Um, and you should be able to hear the backing track. Now I need to put this into GarageBand uh, to begin with. So what I'm going to do is click on the top right hand corner. There's the open in arrow. Um, oops. No, go away, that's not what I want. Oh, what I've done, let's close you and let's hide you, thank you. No, let's go back to here. Um, oh, what's happened here? I'm not sure why it's gone away. How do I make you disappear? Ah, oh, there we go, I couldn't work that out. Okay, so I'm gonna tap on the open in uh, button again. Here we go. And, um, what I'm now going to do is tap on the three dots on the top right corner, top right hand corner, which is the more options uh, button. And what I need to do is a couple of things. I'm going to make it available uh, so that I can find it as a file. Uh, and to do that, I need to tap on the make available offline. So I'm going to tap that one. And that means that it takes it off Google Classroom and it makes it on my iPad. And that's why the green tick is there now. And the other thing I do is I need to um, add it to my Google Drive. So I'm going to click on uh, Add Shortcut to Drive. You can put it onto your drive or anywhere else. But I'm just going to put it under Start. Um, and let me see if I can, I might just put it in my Cert on 2020 file and just go add. So now I know I've made a copy of this MP3 and in my case, I've put it in my Cert on 2020 uh, file, but you can save it wherever you want as long as it's on your iPad. So now the next thing I need to do is I'm going to go to GarageBand. So I'm going to launch GarageBand there. I can search for it or just click on the icon. Uh, there's GarageBand and I'm going to create a brand new project. So on the top left-hand corner, there's a the little paper icon with a sheet folder over underneath where it says search. I'm gonna tap on that and create a brand new project. Now, I'm gonna press the plus button. And what I need you to do is we need to get this backing track onto GarageBand first before we do anything else. So the most efficient way to do that is just go to audio recorder and select voice. Now we're not really using voice, but it just sets up the template in GarageBand that we need. So I'm gonna click on voice. Um, and then if you have a look on the top left hand corner, there's the new file icon, which is the paper. And then there's like a square with two little squares on the side. And then there's a whole stack of little lines. It's underneath on my iPad where it says Tuesday 31st of March. It's underneath that little button. So I'm going to tap that and that shows me the tracks that I have on GarageBand. And it converts to a microphone. You can see that there's a little microphone there. Across the top, you've got one, two, three, four, five, and it keeps going. Um, we need to do a couple of things. The first one is we need to tell GarageBand to just automatically allow me to put the backing track in there. It doesn't matter how long it is. So to do that, I need to press the little plus button that's on the top right hand corner underneath the question mark. So there's a little plus button. I'm going to tap the plus button and where it says section A at the moment, it's set to eight bars but I actually need it to be automatic. So I'm just gonna tap on automatic and then tap away from it. And what that tells GarageBand is as soon as I put a piece of music in there, I just wanna automatically, I want you to automatically adjust the size. The next thing I'm going to do is click on the little loop the loop icon. So if you go from the top right hand corner, there's the little question mark and then there's the cog or the wheel. And then beside that, there is a little, it's a, like a loop the loop type of thing, like a roller coaster going around in a circle and, and the code is for loops. I'm gonna tap on that. And what I need to do is go to files. So I'm gonna tap on files 
and I'm going to search for marching ants and I'm looking for the marching ants mp3 and let's go search and it says oh here it is I found it so now what I'm going to do is tap on that and drag it onto the screen underneath where the microphone is and what that does is that it's gotten marching ants and copied it into GarageBand so now if I press play Oh, by the way, uh, next to the volume that I'm sliding up and down, there's this little metronome icon, uh, which is blue. I'm gonna tap it off for the time being. So blue means on, um, uh, white means off, because I already have a click uh, for this track. So if I press play, you'll be able to hear marching ants in the background. There it is there. And this is the backing track now. By the way, that click is actually click one, two, and then one, two, three, four, then you will start playing. So now that I've got my backing track onto there, the next thing I'm going to do is I need to add the smart guitar so I can play along. So down on the bottom left hand corner, there's the plus button, bottom left hand corner, I'm gonna tap on it and it's gonna say, right, what do you wanna add to GarageBand now? And this time I'm gonna add a um, smart guitar. So I'm on guitar, on the bottom left hand corner there, it says smart guitar, I'm gonna tap on that. So now we've got our chords and I can tap the top of them to do all the different chords. But the chords that I need for this piece of music are A, D and E. We need to change the key. So to do that, top right hand corner, next to the question mark, there is the little wheel or the cog icon, which is the settings. I'm gonna tap on settings and then I'm gonna change the key signature. So it goes tempo, time signature, key signature. I need to change the key signature from C major to A major. That automatically changes my chords. I now have A, D, and E. So what can happen now is that I can press play and in the background, we're going to hear my music um, or the backing track and I can play along with it. So let's go play and I can play the chords. So now I've got, I can play all of that together. Now the problem is that the backing track is a bit too loud. So I'm gonna go back and adjust the volume of the backing track by pressing the tracks icon. So if I go to the top left-hand corner, underneath where it says um, Tuesday 31st of March, there's the little lines, they look like bricks. I'm gonna tap on that. It takes me back to the track icon. And then um, you can see that there's like a couple of microphones and the guitar. And if I keep going down there, there's this little grab icon, uh, which lets me slide uh, the view backwards and forwards. So I'm gonna slide it to here. And what I'm gonna do is turn the backing track, which is this blue one, I'm gonna turn that volume down so it's not as loud. So it's still there, but it's not as loud. Now, I'm gonna go back up to where it says Tuesday 31st of March, um, and I'm gonna tap on smart guitar, or tap on the guitar, and where the little guitar icon is, I'm gonna tap that to bring me back to the smart guitar. Right, so now I'm almost ready to record, except that I also wanna have my music up. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna split screen so that I can have my music in the background. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to Google Classroom. Oops, there's Google Classroom. I'm gonna close the option that I had before and I'm going to open up the Marching Ants music, which here it is here. Uh, then I'm gonna go back to GarageBand open up GarageBand, and then from the bottom of the screen, I'm gonna just gently slide up, not like that, see if we can do it, oops, there we go. Um, and I'm gonna put my classroom page halfway up on the screen, and that should allow me now to see the music, which I can. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is press record, and then follow the count, and I'm gonna follow the pattern that's there. So one, two, oh, not, that's not the count, here we go, one, two, one, to, it starts on an A, and here we go. A, 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 D, 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 A, 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 E, 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 E for a minimum. Then next line, A, 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 D, 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 then E, 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 A, two, three, and you'd normally repeat, but I'm just gonna stop it there. So now, I'm gonna hide my music, I think. Let's hide the music, go away music. Uh, how do I hide my music? Let's go back that way. That'll do it. Um, I'm going to tap underneath Tuesday 31st of March. I'm going to tap where the little icon is with the bricks. 
tap on the bricks icon which shows me the tracks and now we can see that I've got the backing track which is in blue and then the green line there is actually the guitar that I've just recorded. I can now adjust the volumes so if I turn my backing track down I can't hear it and I can only hear the guitar so I'm going to bring my backing track up until I'm happy with the volume. There we go. So now once I've got my recording like that um, I'm ready to submit it into Google Classroom uh, and you can just do a screen recording to show me this part here or alternatively you can also just save it as a file. So I'm going to click on the little page icon which is underneath where it says the time at the moment 11.38, it's that little paper icon. I want to do that. It shows me it's called My Song but I'm going to relabel it by long pressing and then clicking on rename and I'm going to call this Marching Ants, M-A-R-C-H-I-N-G Ants. And I might call it Marching Ants Recording so that I know my, so I remember what it is. Marching Ants Recording, I'm going to say Done. Uh, and then I'm going to long press it again. And this time I'm going to share it. And I want to share it as a song. And then I'm going to share it as a um, high quality MP3 file. And if I go Share... I can now save this or send it up to Google Classroom or save it into my files or however I want to. For our purposes, um, you can either put it directly into Classroom or even save it onto your files app so that you've got a copy of it and that is what you submit. So any questions, girls, just make sure you uh, ask them on Google Classroom uh, and good luck.